tour of the Word screen. At the very top of your screen, you will see the name of the document that you're currently in. Here I can see I'm in a document called Document 1, and it's part of the Word application. On the very left of this title bar, you will see the Quick Access toolbar. This toolbar allows you to quickly save a file, undo or redo the last thing that you have done, and on the far right hand side, you will see the X which will close down the document, the Restore Down button which will make the screen a smaller size, and then the same button again will maximize it on screen, and also the Minimize button which will bring it down onto the taskbar, clicking on it again will bring it back up to take up the full screen. We also have a Ribbon Display Option button. The ribbon is this section of the screen. As I go through the different tabs across the top here into Insert, Design, Layout, etc., it's the ribbon section of the screen that changes. So if I go to the Home tab, I'm now looking at the Home ribbon. If I go to the Ribbon Display Options, it allows me to change how this ribbon is seen. So I can, for example, auto-hide the ribbon. So you can see now there's no ribbon for me to click on. Choosing this button here will allow me to go into the Ribbon Display Options again. I can decide to show the tabs only. Here I can see the tab names, but under it I can't see the ribbon. However, if I click on a tab, for example the Insert tab, it brings up the ribbon and if I click away, then the ribbon disappears again. And finally, I can show the tabs and commands, which is what we saw by default. Depending on the device you're using, you might decide to change the ribbon displays. So if you were on a laptop with a small screen or maybe a touchscreen tablet, you might decide to show the ribbon differently. Here I'm going to leave it as Show Tabs and Commands. So then we have those tabs and commands that I was talking about within the ribbon. On the left hand side we have the ruler and across the top we can also see the ruler. And then we have the page itself. And this is where I'll be putting all of the contents into the document. Down at the bottom of my screen I then have the status bar. The status bar will give you information about the document that you're in. On the far right hand side of the status bar we have the zoom area and we can zoom in to make the page bigger. We can zoom out to make the page smaller on screen. We also have different view buttons. We've got the read mode, we've got the print layout and we've got the web layout. So that's a tour of the screen that you're currently looking at.